Hi, this is Tom Sohn and this morning I've received a question from a landlord who needs a bit of help and I wanted to share it with you because it's quite a common situation, not just in Portsmouth, around the whole country. So the answer to this is going to help a lot more people. So uh, I'll just read you the question as it was sent to me. Hi Tom, I've got tenants in a property. They're both on the tenancy agreement, but they've split up. The man has left the lady and she is six months pregnant, so she's self-isolating. She's lost her job, she's not been furloughed, and she can only afford to pay half the rent this month. I can't get in touch with the ex to claim the rest of the rent from him, although he is liable. What options do I have for her? and I'm not in a position to be able to reduce the rent at all. Okay, so right now, I don't know the reasons for the landlord not being able to reduce the rent. So I'm just gonna assume that she's got mortgage payments to maintain and the rent amount covers those mortgage payments. If that's wrong, then fine, it might be that that's her sole source of income and she's got other bills to pay out. This is the landlord I'm talking about. But either way, we'll cover it all here. So look, this is something I, I hear about quite a few times and the advice I'm going to give you is pretty universal in that you can, you know, most people can apply this same answer and the same solution. So the first thing I will say is the tenant can apply for universal credit, but she needs to do it right now. Universal credit are currently very accepting and very lenient on the applications because of the current situation. So number one, tell the tenant to apply for universal credit right now. Now, if the tenant doesn't think that they'll be eligible for it, tell them you don't know until you try. Please apply for universal credit. That's the advice for the tenant, first of all. Advice number two for the tenant is to reduce your other outgoings. Now, I know that the council tax, utilities, broadband, phones, mobiles, uh, loans and credit cards, all those sorts of things that you pay out for every month can currently be reduced. They're either offering reductions or discounts, whatever you want to call it. They're offering payment breaks, holidays, all of those things can be reduced right now. So the tenant needs to try and do that so she can start being able to afford a bit more rent. Um, this also goes the other way around for the landlord too. Landlords, you can reduce your outgoings as well. So if you've got a tenant that's struggling with rent payments a bit, then reduce your own outgoings so you might be able to pass on a saving so at least you keep something coming in regularly. All right, it might not be the full rent, but if you reduce your other outgoings by half and you get half the rent in, then there's no difference. But it means that you're just helping out your tenant during this time. We're all in the same boat, so we just need to help as many people as we can. That's why I'm trying to help landlords like this. I just wanna, we're all in the same boat. I'm a landlord myself. I've got my own tenants that are having their own problems and we all need to work together. We all need to talk and stick together. So look, please share this round. Do you know anyone that's got tenants that this has happened to? Or do you know anyone that's got tenants that are struggling to pay the rent? We all need to share this, this advice. Look, you don't have to share my video. Make your own video with this same answer if you want. Write all this down and send it out to people. If you're letting agents, share this with your landlords, share this with your tenants, please. Let's just help everyone we can. So look, I really hope that helps. Remember the advice to tenants, apply for universal credit, reduce your other outgoings. Advice to landlords, reduce your outgoings pass on the saving. I hope that helps. Good luck to everyone. Let me know if you've got any more questions. All the best. I just want to add something to this because there's a massive misconception with joint tenancies where a lot of tenants believe that if they're on a joint tenancy, they're only liable for half the rent each. Well, that's just not true. Actually, each tenant is equally liable for the full rent. So what does that mean? It means that, okay, this situation right here is a difficult situation. I really sympathise with the tenant that's been left behind. But the law will state that that tenant that's been left behind is just as liable for the full rent as the other tenant. So if they can't find the other tenant, then this first tenant needs to pay the full rent. Now, look, I'm just putting aside the difficulties with this. That's a whole different thing. What I'm trying to say is that if there's a joint tenancy, each tenant is liable for the full rent. So... In this situation, if we were going to be totally heartless about it, then the landlord could insist that the full rent is still paid. 
The tenant is then quite within her rights to go after this other tenant to claim the money back that she may have lost. And I'm pretty sure a judge will look at this situation and say, yeah, you're on the tenancy. You owe her half that rent back. Now, that's a difficult one because there's the human element here. You know, we're all human beings and I really do sympathise with that first tenant. So that's why I was saying that if the landlord can do something to try and support this tenant as well as not losing out too much themselves, then that's the, the, the best outcome all round. But if we're going to get, like I say, if we're going to get cold and ruthless about it, then both tenants need to make sure that they're able to pay the full rent. So look, ugh, it's a tough one, isn't it? And, and I'm sorry to, uh, to give that truth. And if there are any tenants watching, it's not about getting tenants out and uh, extorting tenants and all that sort of stuff. It's about looking after yourself and the, and the landlord is included in that. So look, I hope that helps. Uh, it's, it's the way it is. And if you need any more advice, just give us a shout, tom at pinkstreet.co.uk or drop me a message through Facebook, whichever's easiest for you. I'll speak to you all soon.